I'm Clint Swifel, and I'm proud to be a candidate for Missouri State Treasurer, and it's an honor to be here before you this morning. You know, when you think about why folks identify themselves as Democrats, it happens pretty early on in life. And I think about those early experiences that I had growing up. My mother was a hairdresser, my dad was a carpenter, uh, went to public schools. You know, the idea of making sure that we had educational opportunities for all, not just a select few, the idea that health care is something that needs to be accessible for every individual in this state, not just a select few, and the idea that the basic promise of our state and our country is that each generation can improve slightly over the, over the one before them. And that's what being a Democrat for me is about. That's what drew me to the Democratic Party at a young age. Uh, my wife, many of you have met, she's been out and about talking at events. Uh, we've been married for 10 years. We're foster parents of two young girls. And you know what I think this is about is about providing opportunity for future generations. And when I was elected to state representative in 2002, it was a really tough year for Democrats. In fact, that year I won an election by 67 votes out of 13,000 casts that no one, no one expected us to win. We were the only Democrat that year in the entire state to defeat a Republican incumbent. And when I came back to ask the voters for support next election, we got 70% of my district to stand up and vote for me. 35% of those that cast a vote for President Bush also chose to split their ticket and vote for me. So the ability to be able to reach out to independent voters and touch them is important and more important than ever. And when I was elected, you started to see Republicans attack the most basic values that we have in this state. The most basic values. And the state treasurer, first responsibility, and first constitutional responsibility is to manage investments for the state. But beyond that, you're one of six statewide elected officials. So you better darn well stand up and talk about issues that are important for fiscal policy, long term for citizens, and for the state. Uh, we faced an early fight with health care in 2005 where the governor proposed cutting health care. What we didn't have at that point is a state treasurer that could get up and eloquently talk about what cutting $200 million out of state health care spending means for our budget. It means sending federal dollars to other states. Having a state treasurer that can talk about that and use that office as a bully pulpit is important. Secondly, we've had a state treasurer that has virtually stood back and just watched mortgage reform and, and uh, watched the mortgage bubble and done nothing. There are real ideas that I propose that I brought to the table to address mortgage reform, to talk about making sure that we don't have folks prey on senior citizens from an investor perspective, and to make sure we stand up to the governor when he wants to make college less affordable, like he did when he sold assets to Mohila. This is more than election. This is an opportunity to actually change the state. I think it's important that we have candidates that have a proven track record of winning elections and doing the right thing. I would be honored to earn your support.